Salutations, friends. Said Stevie here, and today doing a little bit more modifications to my Spyderco Para 3. This is a Factory Seconds uh, Para 3 that I picked up at Blade Show West. Uh, it's in Maximit. I put some uh, Rips Garage Tech scales on it in black uh, burlap micarta. I added a uh, Pacific and Sons uh, backspacer uh, to it and I added a lynch clip to it and I really dig it as is however uh, this company that I'm quite a fan of Glow Rhino uh, recently came out with a lanyard plug a tritium lanyard plug and so I want to get this installed I am not a fan of lanyards, really, and so I got no use for an extra hole on my knife that I'm not going to use, and uh, this was like 25 bucks or something, maybe it was 30 bucks. I don't remember, uh, I had a, a credit to use uh, with them, so I'm going to remove everything uh, to get to the lanyard tube and uh, remove that. I had very good success the first time around uh, popping out that lanyard tube. Uh, it wasn't as big of a pain in the ass as everyone told me it was going to be. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to do that a second time. So we shall see. I'm going to bust out the handy Coca-Cola can and uh, get to going on this. One thing I don't like about this is it takes three different size uh, Torxes. It takes a T6, a T8, and a T10. And I got enough uh, Torx uh, tools to where I'm not going to bother switching everything around uh, on there, uh, changing out the bits. So I am just going to start with, well, decline that call. I'm on my lunch break. So, uh, they can wait. But, uh, yeah, so, bye-bye clip for now. There is one uh, T8 body screw. I don't really remember how this thing comes apart, but I don't remember it being difficult. So, I'm going to just go with it and start taking things apart. And there is that. Now I think that this should reveal the liner. Will that pop off there? Yes. One thing that happened while I was putting things together is I did chip the back of the scale there. I was kind of disappointed that it broke so easy. Uh, I don't remember how I did it, but it uh, definitely cracked. So, eh. oh well. Crimea River. All right, so there's the scale there. Okay, and that's where things get... I don't remember how... Does this just pry off of there? I don't want to bend the liner. Just set the blade aside there. There we go. Oh, the whole liner just... Or the whole tube just came off. Okay, so then I just need to... Since I don't have to use this anymore. I'm just going to use these little pair of uh, Nipix here and see if I can't just, yep, boom. Done. Easy peasy. Well, that was super easy. Uh, this is supposed to just pop into the lanyard plug, or the lanyard spot now. So, do I need to, like, tap it in or anything? It's, I'm sure it's got a seat in there. Yep, it just did. It just did. Is it flush? Um, it is. Yep, okay, so you can see there, uh, sits slightly, uh, recessed. But boom, uh, how easy was that? Now I can put, uh, the blade back on. Everything's going good so far. This might, uh, not take very long at all. Uh, this should pop right the... The backspacer should pop right back on. It does. And now this liner should pop right back on as well. Boom. 
Eh, very simple. Did I do know that if this pivot moves that the scale won't... Nope, that seems to be all lined up there. Was it really that simple? I think it were, folks. I think it were. Now this just needs to um, pop. Boom. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So now I should be able to start. Uh, we'll check for centering and all that here after I put everything back on. And I'm hoping that that's all it was. And then maybe I'll... It's still light out, so maybe I'll have to go into one of my darker rooms and show you guys the tritium vial that's in there that illuminates. Uh, now I can just pop these back into place. This was super easy. Not that I thought it was going to be tough, but that didn't take me any time at all. So, all right, pocket clip is good to go. Um, let's check for centering. It's not centered. It's a little to the show side. Back that off there. That seems to be good. Boom. That's good to go. Any uh, blade play? A little bit of blade play. You tighten that down there just a skosh a little bit all right now that's good to go boom look at that now i got that uh, lanyard plug on there so um how am i going to show off the vial i can't kill the lights well, you're just going to have to take my word for it. I don't feel like editing a video to uh, show this. But, um, well, let me pause and go film something and see if it's worth trying. Well, look at that. I'm in total darkness, and there is the tritium vial. So now, uh, if I need to find my... Para 3 in total darkness. All I have to do is look for that little green light. The little green tritium vial. And I'll find it. Booyah! Had to do a little bit of editing there. Uh, and then I almost packed up and forgot to film the uh, final deal. So, yeah. Uh, it's all said and done. And now my... Para 3 is modded once again, and I like the way that looks, and I don't care how silly that is, um, I dig it. Yep, I dig the Para 3. Um, maybe I gotta loosen that pivot just a little, little bit. Just a little bit. A nano skosh, as it were. No blade play. We're centered. There we go. Alright, there you go, folks. Let me know what you think. I'll leave a link in the description uh, for one of these if you're interested. They have them blacked out as well. And they make these for uh, Benchmade, uh, too, I think. Uh, I don't remember what models, but uh, they're available for Benchmade also. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. There it is, Glow Rhino Tritium EDC Tools. I also have some of these, uh, they call them the Spark Fob, uh, little uh, poles, the uh, zipper poles. And then I also carry, I've had the their Glow Fob um, since this was a Kickstarter uh, years ago on my keys, which does come in handy. Uh, if I, my keys are sitting out in the garage, it's dark out, I can always look down and just see my uh, tritium uh, vial there and know where my keys are so yeah nice little handy thing it's the same thing that you see in pistol uh, sites and whatnot you guys know what tritium is so that's all i got folks let me know what you think and until the next one i bid you mofos a deuces